at that time, the drug dealer and the game banger, it was a, it was, it was two different organizations. Right. So the game bangers, they're, they're, um, what I call spinach, like Popeye eats spinach to get strong. The game banger spinach was all about ego and pride. It wasn't right. about money at one time. It was about that nigga's a killer. He kills people. He, he get respect in the hood or he's a jack or he, he shot up the party or whatever. Then the drug dealers thing was more finances because that one time the drug dealers were kind of the good guys. They went to school. They 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 they, they sold drugs not to just buy cars, but yep. to help their mothers with rent because their yep. fathers wasn't there. They had to had no choice but to step up to be the man of the family and everything. And then yep. once the game banger saw these square niggas becoming drug dealers, making money and getting all the girls, but not realizing that the drug dealers were actually grown men because they were selling dope to two or three o'clock in the morning and get up and come to school like it wasn't nothing or hand their mother the money. So here, mama, this is help with the rent. Here, mama, go buy you a car. And the gangster saw that and said, shit, not only do we do that, we could put this money into our family, which is the Crips or the Bloods, whatever. And then they bought weapons with it and shacks and dope to keep it going and going and going. And they use their money for battle when drug dealers use their money for prestige or right. to go to the next level. And a lot of drug dealers, people no. didn't realize, weren't just selling dope. The average drug dealer back in the day from our era were real men because they would sell dope long enough to open them up a laundromat or a liquor store or buy an apartment building. They were out of the game. Man, man. But these game bangers thought that the shit would last forever. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. 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 And that meant that mentality, that mentality basically kind of like won over and stuff. Because, and you know, because like like you you're exactly right and stuff, because the early drug dealers would, you know, was all about investing in shit and stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, like they made money, they made enough money, but they were all, you know, they had cleaners and shits and stuff, you know what I'm saying? They had, you know, different details. Business. Did sell sound yes. car washes, car washes and stuff. You know what I'm saying? They they sponsor knew. a baseball team for kids or something. Exactly. Buy the yeah. uniform. Yeah. yeah, not even like we even buying equipment. Like you know, like man, like like William Jared and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like one day I was working at the uh, at the hoagie shop when I used to work work up there and stuff. You know, and you know, and I um um I knew you know he was getting money. You know, so I was like, man. You know, let me holler at him. And I so I hollered at him one day, like, man, you know, he's like, man, I'm going to get back with you and stuff, you know. So we're trying to get some equipment, he's trying to get a sampler and stuff, you know what I'm saying, to start sampling and stuff. So so one day he came to the job and stuff, and then, you know, and it, and it gave me like a big stack of money like this and shit, man. Giving something back. Man, it's like 1500 bucks and shit, man. We went and bought. Which was a million, which was a million oh back then. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, bro. Well, we was like, we went straight to the, uh, and got, and got the, uh, went to, uh, to, uh, to go buy some equipment. We went and bought a sampler and shit, you know what I'm saying? And this little sequencer and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, that was our first little shit that mm -hmm. we had, you know what I'm saying? Like, 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 he, he, like, he, he helped fund our our operation and stuff you know what i'm saying in order to keep it going and he didn't he wasn't even asking for nothing back he didn't even mm. he, didn't, he didn't even blink an eye he just was didn't like, have okay, to didn't have let me, to let me help you out with this like okay you need whoa, whoa. and I, i'm like yo bro this dude just gave me a stack of money and stuff so like man i will forever be indebted to him you know what i'm saying for his service and stuff so like what you're saying like the the drug dealers that I knew at that time from that era, man, they was all, I'm not saying all of them. Of course you got, you know, most that. of them but though, for the most, most part, they, 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 they funded people to do things that they, they wanted to do like good things and stuff, you know, pe put people in college and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Went to school and stuff, you know, like, 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 like you're saying the drug dealers that we know and stuff, they really was about helping the community and stuff, you know, and would, you, you know, and would tell, and would tell you, don't be selling dope like me. This shit ain't no future. Don't be trying to go to school, get yeah. your education. Yeah. If you need something, here's some money. Don't try to sell no dope. You don't let these shoes and shit impress you. I'll buy you something. Doug did the would stop an ice cream truck and buy everybody ice cream on the block. Yeah, come but, on. Now, but, but you know what turned the drug dealer differently, mind thinking, was the gangsters. People don't want to talk about that gangsters saw that the drug dealers were soft-hearted people so they start saying 
fuck that. We can jack that nigga. Let's exactly. jack him. Let's take his dope out. So now the dope dealer said, I can't be a leader to these kids anymore. I got to be vicious because these niggas are the cut. I right, now, not only do I have to worry about police fucking with me, now I got to worry about a nigga across the street like uh, Kane on belly. I don't like that shit. Hating yeah. to the nigga pulling up in a nice car or nah. just trying to jack a nigga or no, mad true. because his girl looks at the drug dealer and said he's cuter. I like his perm. So niggas start jocking gangsters. Gangsters start jacking drug dealers and drug dealers turn from being investors of the community to nigga, I'm going to have to kill this nigga too. And then it turned to the gang drug gang. Gang yep. drug gang. It was all in the same fucking spot. Man. Man. Dude. And that you, 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 you described that perfect because that's exactly what the hell happened and stuff you know what i'm saying and you had that so that guy that that's uh was a uh uh, uh that valley victorian that started selling drugs that that basketball player that's selling that and violence wasn't their their first uh, choice of things but then you put a person where now you got my money over here and then you know you got your, your life and what you trying to do over here and stuff you know what i'm saying you there there's a you know uh, a choice that has to be made and stuff and most people you know like when especially when it comes to money and stuff you know you you're going to pr protect your investment and stuff so you got to do things to, in order to protect your investment so now you can pay a couple of gang other gang members to protect you from these other absolutely uh, that, that which is that which, scenario which is happen. putting you in that gang mind yep instead but because yeah. you got to realize yeah. it, it was safer it wasn't that dangerous for drug dealers in the early 80s because this is way prior. This is way before the crackheads, the strawberries. You got to realize the average, we called them smokers back then. They weren't crackheads. Yeah. Back then, a smoker was a motherfucker that worked for the post office, yeah. that had a good job, a school yeah. teacher. He'd drive a school bus. So the drug dealers were dealing with this guy, getting credit with him or whatever because they knew he was good for his money. Then after about two years... All of a sudden, the homie's mother ain't as fine as she used to be. She right. don't have that same car she used to have. She used to work for the county. She don't have that county. So now she's a crackhead. But by right. then, the right. gangs had started jacking the gang, the dope dealers. So it became the crack world. But back in the day, smokers were people that had jobs that were functioning people. And that's Man. how it, it was a courtesy thing. You A dope dealer wouldn't bring dope to church. He wouldn't bring dope to school. He wouldn't bring... but. He knew that he had regular clients that weren't trying to jack him, that wasn't trying to get over on him, that just working people that were smoking. Man. And eventually those those working people started declining, declining, declining. And when it came down to crack, where everybody was sucking dick for crack or doing whatever they had to do, that's when it turned to really, really, really scandalous because there was no more civilization with the transaction, if that makes Man. sense. Man, dude, man, that that's man, that shit is hell of a perfectly uh, you know, um said and stuff, you know, because that that is exactly what what happened with us and stuff, I, you know. I've and, seen my mother go from having a barbershop on 54th and Western, a good friend uh, barbershop. Uh, in the seven in the seventies, my mother used to make about twelve hundred dollars a week. Wow in the seventies, doing wow. jerry curls, the late seventies. So it was nothing for me to go to Richard Pryor's house, Eddie Murphy's house, or see all these celebrities come to my mother's barbershop and the more then she started snorting that was the first thing the snorting is a party thing then it turned from snorting to coke and that's when the barbershop got lost the house got lost the decline the the different caliber of friends that she had the different caliber of men that she dated so it just declined 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 and next thing you know we're all we're all trying to survive we're all trying to survive bro so wait, wait.